we're in the building welcome back to art talk with your artist Kevalon and you are inside the art attack studio right now today our discussion in art talk is gonna be American comedian Cat Williams now Cat Williams has been making me laugh for years and Cat Williams I think when I first saw him on Wildin' Out, he had me cracking up and he stood out from everybody on there. And I think being a standout is what makes your career jump off. You can do the same thing people have been doing for years and still it shows that you still can stand out and really do some powerful things in your career and build a career just being different yet the same. So you can take the same concept and really flip it into a successful model where other people couldn't. And I think Cat Williams is a good example of that. And that's one reason I'm a huge fan of Cat Williams. His work anyway. His work ethic is very popular, is very amazing. I think Cat stood out because of his consistency. He's very consistent when he gets started. When Cat first did stand up, I still followed him from the wilding out situation. I watched him on stage on small shows like the Comedy Store and things like that, which may not be small to some comedians, but compared to where he went, that is small a little bit like it's a start and anybody doing stand-up comedy in the comedy store or somewhere like that you know that's a powerful thing because it's a start and you get discovered by a lot of people that are in the industry and things like that so cat really was powerful when it came to that the stand-up now the stand-up a lot of people do it but everybody doesn't have the ability to do shows that are really huge like in arenas and stuff like that so you have to really pay your dues first and kinda get it in you have to be a workaholic also to outshine people who work hard all the time so when you look at Cat Williams we're gonna break down some of Cat Williams accomplishments and where he is today so let's get into it Cat Williams has more comedy specials than any comedian alive or dead or dead or alive I should say he has more comedy specials than anybody so he has achieved a massive success and notoriety due to his comedy and Cat Williams is fun to watch he's he's a character so to speak when he gets in character he really gets deep into it and he gets lost in it kinda like I do with artwork I just get into it and I start vibing and it just becomes some kind of interesting result when you put me on a canvas or a t-shirt or something put some paint or a pencil or anything in my hand and I'm gonna make it happen because I have a lot of experience with artwork and being creative and things like that artistically so his art is his comedy and people love his comedy because he keeps it real on stage the things he talks about or it seems as if he's very sincere about what he's saying about people and about his life and things like that because comedians usually their art reflects their real life most of the time comedians are speaking on things that they have experienced or that they've gone through personally and that is what people can relate to that's what resonates with a lot of people so when Cat starts talking about other people, 
it really, you know, gets to you because Cat can roast people. Cat really roasts you when he roasts you. So you don't want Cat Williams on your back about anything. You don't want him chasing you down to talk bad about you because he does it in a form where he'll make people cry. Cat Williams, I could imagine him back in school. He probably was roasting people in school left and right. You know, because once people talk about him, he goes in on them. So, Cat having such massive success with his comedy specials. He went from Showtime to HBO to Comedy Central, etc., etc. Cat Williams has sold out shows, live shows, left and right. And when you have success like that, and you also are hating on people while you're in the midst of experiencing all this success, it's something, it just says something about you, you know, as a person, actually. Because when you think about it, a lot of people get into certain professions for the money, some people want the notoriety, some people want to get famous just to be in movies and things like that. And success should bring peace somewhat into your life. I think success offers you an amount of peace that people don't get when they're not successful. A lot of people have tried a lot of things that they failed at in life, in general. You know, I failed at some things in life as well, but I got back up. Like that gospel song, we fall down, but we get up. That's a famous song that uh, is a gospel song and Star on Star in the Morning sings that a lot or used to. <laughs> and it's a powerful meaning behind the song. The song has a lot of meaning, you know, and it gives hope to people and you have to get up once you fall down. Now, depression and things like that make people talk about people and hate on the world even in spite of their success whether they're in a decent relationship or if they have success in the media or they're famous or something you know all of that is success if you have a good job and you went to school for it and you feel proud that you accomplished these things you know all of this is success in life if you have real estate or whatever now cat has done a lot of these things but yet he finds a reason to have negative things to say about all of these people and you all know who I'm talking about there's too they're too numerous to really name but let's name some we're gonna name drop like Tiffany Haddish Kevin Hart He's hated on everybody. I mean, Monique. You know, all kind of people he's hated on that are fellow comedians. So these are his peers. But what was amazing about him, to me, like some of these things are very amazing as far as accomplishments. Accomplishments in his field and his profession. Cat Williams, he said that when Monique was ready to boycott Netflix, Netflix cut him a check for two million dollars for the same stand-up that he did in Jacksonville, Florida for three hundred thousand. They wanted the same stand-up like recycled jokes. And that's something he talks about people for doing. He really, he really dogs a lot of people for doing recycled jokes. You know, so they're not writing, in other words. And they're not being creative. And Cat, somehow, in his success and in his peace that he's supposed to have, because, you know, when you have even a million dollars, I would think it would change your life. 
and it hasn't really had, had a positive effect on cat I think unless of course these are all jokes <laughs> cuz cat is really good at making jokes all right on people or anything like that so my question to you all is here on art talk my crowd on art talk cuz this is a discussion okay and cat is the subject of this discussion today do you think that Cat Williams is just a natural hater? Or do you think this is all a promotion to show his comedy level and that he can be a comic in every situation which makes him a master comic? Do you think that this helps his situation or what? So it would help his situation if he was doing just comedy and being a comic in this situation but do you think he's a hater in this situation I want you to take the poll at YouTube it's art talk with Kevalon and it's at youtube.com go support my page if you like what you're seeing here on art talk on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you're finding Kevalon today wherever you run into me at please go to YouTube and take that poll on the video this video is gonna post on YouTube today and which means it'll be there when you make it there if you're not watching it today okay and I paint and I talk I also do instructional videos so if you see somebody if you saw somebody this summer at a amusement park or at an event and they were airbrushing maybe like this maybe not they may have done a name or something that impressed you and you want to airbrush in any capacity if you just want to do it for a hobby or you want to make it into a skill that's a life skill or you want to make a job out of it I can show you what equipment to buy to get started very inexpensively because again I'm a starving artist and I also take donations at PayPal it's kevalone at gmail.com at PayPal and the link is also it's gonna be here on Instagram and it's also on YouTube all over YouTube on my page so if you wanna donate so that I can continue with art supplies and things like that that would help me to get art supplies and anything else I might need to really continue with this art and I'm gonna paint either way so I thank you all for joining me today and again this is Kevalon and we, this is art talk and remember this is very unique and nobody but nobody is doing this type of art talk where they're gonna show you how to do it as well as speak on interesting topics and people in our world today so thank you for joining me